Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft is testing a video super resolution in Edge for Desktop. And as I've mentioned in previous videos, this is because they announced that one out of three videos are played at 480p or a lower resolution in Edge. So because of this, they are introducing an experimental AI video enhancement that will upscale video resolution for clearer and crisper videos. Now, just to let you know that currently in Edge Canary version 123, which is the latest preview version, if we head over to our settings and our system performance page, over and above enhanced videos in Microsoft Edge, um, the super resolution now has received a couple of different options. And I have noticed this rolled out recently uh, with an update to Edge Canary 123. And both these enhanced videos in Microsoft Edge and um, your preferred method of video enhancement are not available as yet in the stable version. Now, the um, super resolution, so to speak, is turned off by default. So we can toggle that on. And basically, it says sharpens videos and improves color, lighting, and contrast using AI super resolution for videos. When device is plugged in, protected videos and videos that are small on screen will not be enhanced only the most recently played video will be enhanced when multiple videos are active on a site. Now, that's um, what the setting was all about previously. Now, here's the new bit, preferred method of video enhancement. It says Edge uses a built-in AI super resolution for video upscaling on compatible devices. Other enhancement techniques are offered depending on the device's capabilities. Graphics driver enhancement may require additional configuration in driver software. So obviously this is all hardware specific. So this is more an advanced kind of um, option and options available than just the enhanced videos in Microsoft Edge using super resolution. Now yeah, they've got other enhancements. And if I head over to a video, and I'll just play this quickly. If we head up to our um, address bar here we can see enhanced media and here's where the toggle is turned on as mentioned here you can see at the top in the thumbnail that's just microsoft kind of showing you um that's the original and that's the enhanced with super resolution and as my video is playing um if i just toggle this off i can see that it goes a little bit kind of the contrast and the 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 brightness goes a little bit or well, more the brightness just goes a little bit darker. And if I turn that on, I can actually see it goes a little bit brighter. So the brightness is increased and maybe the text is slightly increased. So that is working to some extent or other on my device. I don't know if you can see that in the video. That's with it off and that's with it on. Now, if I head back to those settings, that's with other enhancement. And here we've got super resolution. And all this does basically is it says gives you a maximum video resolution for enhancement. Now you've got 1080p, 720p, and 480p. And it says the default maximum resolution for video enhancement is 1080p. You may choose to decrease the maximum supported video resolution based on your device performance. So you've also got this maximum video resolution that you can choose for enhancement. And if we head back to graphics driver enhancement, basically nothing changes in the descriptions of the settings, but this as it says here, um, other techniques are offered depending on the device's capabilities. Graphics driver enhancement may require additional configuration in driver software. So obviously, if you're going to use your graphics, your graphics driver enhancement, you may have to um, configure that um, in the actual software of your graphics card and your uh, GPU. But nonetheless, just bringing this to your attention. And we have a couple of extra settings available now for the super resolution. So that's um, Microsoft once again pushing a couple of more AR um, features into the browser. And as mentioned, not available as yet uh, in the stable version. And um, at this stage, it's not known if this will roll out to stable because I'm not seeing anything in the stable version regarding a video super resolution. But nonetheless, just keeping you posted if you are following new features in the Edge web browser. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.